First of all, thank you that I can be a guest here. Thank you, Jaya, Toons, and India for inviting me. It's the first time I speak like this in an auditorium because actually I'm a bear. <laughs> so they let me out of the zoo to be here. Thank you again, and uh, I'm not an animator, but I think through my life, I met a lot of animators, a lot of producers, a lot of directors, and who want to be directors, and I can give some words to animators that help them through their computers. I produced the animation for Felix the Cat, the movie. It was a 2D movie. I worked with 300, over 300 people from all kinds of countries. I met Weintraubs, Columbia Pictures, I met artists that, I want more money or I leave. And uh, I met lawyers. Yes, you need them. Take the right one. <laughs> it was a three, over three year production in 2D. So I had no idea what is a movie. I just said, I want to make a Disney movie. So that's what I started to do. And I found, uh, yeah, make it short, I found uh, Felix the Cat. I had to pay to be a co-producer, though I had to finance the animation part, because Felix was and is still a great character. It was late, like mostly the films are late, so I missed a big contract with Columbia. The key animator before the premiere of the animation movie at the animation festival in Los Angeles, brought me a letter from his lawyer. I stopped the film, you have to give me double, or I stopped the movie. So what did I do? I paid him. What is important in animation? It's a good question. First of all, it's the idea, which is born here or here. And then comes the script, which is very difficult. And then comes, if it's a good script, they say all oh, it's a good script. Then comes the animation part, like storyboarding, like this. And then comes the mistake, because when the storyboarder gets the job, to make a storyboard of a, of a script. If he doesn't like it, he should say, no, I don't do it. I know I can lose my job, but I don't do it. It's not right, because it's a chain. Idea, script, storyboard, you know it better than me. I'm not an animator. And it is one in a million that you have a very easy idea like, I'm your gummy bear. One in a million. It worked because the song and the visual and the text were one. And it's a great message. Yes, I'm Papa Bear. So, uh, you can have, ask me questions, whatever you want, after the show. I know that this is not the end. With tunes. Thank you. Streaming, please.
It's very difficult to find a family for Gummy Bear, I mean in the movie, because he's so tough character, he's such a lovable character that you cannot put beside him anybody, any character. He alone does the movie if needed. You see that? I mean, maybe wrong, but you see it. You don't need a lot of tra-la-la. He himself is lovable. It's like when you look back, Disney, Bambi, there's not much action and... It's the, it's the cuteness, it's the warmness, it's the, the magic. And that's what counts to kids, because kids have a great sense of what is good and what is not good for them. What is good that I heard here the lady from Nickelodeon, India, that there are people still that believe in kids, not only in <laughs> And uh, There, there are the Avengers now, right? The Avengers? They're the big thing? Well, make young Avengers. That's the simple thing they do in Hollywood. Make young Avengers. Gummy Bear is the first Avenger. You know? Why not? Why not? Yeah, but that is a sure, a sure success road when you think like that. Because what is Hollywood doing? They copy themselves. But we don't copy Gummy Bear because Gummy Bear is Gummy Bear. Ten years and growing popularity. Every child in the world knows, every mom in the world knows, and they get crazy because, ah, oh, again, that song, and oh, that Gummy Bear. You know? It's Gummy Bear that makes the movie. Find a great story, but Gummy Bear is the movie. Thank you again. Questions, actually. Oh, questions. Any, any question. So now now it's the on. easy part. Yes. <laughs> we'll move on to the question and answer round. Thank you so much, Christian. That was fantastic. Oh, there you are. I'm a lawyer, by the way, but I'm the good guy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, the first question from Sam. Sam? Um, I, uh, okay, I'm a jury director in Tunes, uh, actually, uh, working on Gummy Bell project, as you know. I have a uh, question. I'm a bit curious, actually. Um, in the production process, uh, what are you most fond of? 
Are you fond of the music or the visuals? Um, the music is important because kids, kids want to hear something. They, they want to groove, they want to uh, be with it. And, and the, the movie has, or, or the video or whatever, has to click together. Like I said, it was a, it was a great thing when we did uh, I Am Your Gummy Bear that the visual and the tone and the message was positive and fit. That's very seldom, you know. Uh, the idea is important, the idea. Young Avengers, <laughs> gummy bear, super gummy. Kids love that shit. <laughs> what can you do? They wear the shoes of Avengers, so what can they do? Be Young Avengers. <coughs> That's the movie. Jaya's gone? Jaya called, isn't he? <laughs> or DreamWorks as well. Or Network, Net Netflix. I have a question for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hi. Well, I had a, as a, this tax accountant thing is one, was one heart, because it's life, you know, you have to make a job. So I did that job, and uh, my mother <laughs> was a great singer. And uh, I went to a music studio as a tax accountant because the guy had problems with the taxes. So that's the first time I met with media, with music, professionally. And then I was sorry for him. He needed money. So I said, well, let's make some songs. I can sing maybe something. So we made two songs. And they found that my voice is great. And we sent the stuff to CBS Frankfurt. One week later, they called me, can you come to Frankfurt? What? They wanted to make out of me the German David Bowie. <laughs> but I was in a situation, you know, I had 18 people working in a tax office. So what, I go on tour and I missed it, I didn't. And then it came more and more and more and more, and then I did what I did. Is that right answering, or you need one more? <laughs> the, I felt I have to do it. Thank you, Christian. Yes, Deborah has a question. Hi. Um, your uh, story is so incredible, and uh, it's amazing to see how many views and how much love around the world for Gummy Bear. So Thank I'm you. Curious, what has been your biggest obstacle so far, and how did you overcome it? The biggest obstacle with Gummy Bear? Yes. Was the beginning. Nobody wanted it. I was shopping for six months. What is that? Uh, and uh, then it went automatically when, when I gave it to somebody who had connections. You know, different. You have a connection to a company or not. If I send something to Sony and I'm not known, then they look different. If somebody that is known sends something to Sony or to whoever, and all of a sudden three companies wanted it, 
BMG send tickets. Come, we show you we are the best. I said, what? We didn't take BMG. We took a smaller company, and that was good because our influence, my son and me, we could do it. That was the biggest obstacle with Gummy Bear, to make a deal. Funny. And now the biggest obstacle is to make a movie. You know? It's the same, like beginning. Ah, Gummy Bear movie. It will come. Yes, Anisha. Hi. Talk a little bit more about the origin of the idea, Gummy Bear, because I believe that Gummy Bear can be, uh, did that have no. anything to do with it? Or how? No. What was the first initial? The first initial, uh, you want to laugh? <laughs> I was in a, in a restaurant, and the cook was late. So I had some beer. Well, because I wanted especially to eat what this cook makes. I had eight beers, small beers, zero two. So in total, it's not too much. And there was a nice uh, lady behind the bar. And I said, oh, you look like a gummy bear. <laughs> what? She was like, oh? I said, yes. No. I said, you're my gummy bear. No. And it made click. I am your gummy bear. <laughs> and then I found an old melody. I, I went up immediately uh, to, the road, uh, to the street. I didn't want to lose the idea. And I sang into my... What was it, a Sony uh, Walkman? Walkman? Sony Walkman. Ancient. Uh, now you have this. Um, and I sang my old melody, which I had. I'm your gummy bear. Da 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 So it fit. And then that was it. I have one more sentence. Yes, of course. Ladies can be very creative by, by saying no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, never, we never thought about it that way, but now that you've given us the idea, yeah. we will try it out. <laughs> so I have a question for Please, you. please. So uh, what is the creative process behind composing a song? Like, do you, does it come to you like at odd moments? Or do you actually have a disciplined routine? No, there's no disciplined routine. You can sit down and... Uh, my, my thing is, I hear a groove, mm -hmm. or some harmony, mm -hmm. and I have any melody you want. Give me a harmony. Okay. I'm hardly a singer, so... Okay. <laughs> no, no. But anything. It's, it's so, it, it, it gives me inspiration. Sometimes I write a lyric without any music in mind. Okay. And then I have to find the music for the lyric. But um, mostly I'm a feel feeling guy. So give me a dear bumbin dim boo dum dum dooney dun deal dim begging a goo. Ah you. That's pretty great. So does this have probably when you're looking to produce something within a certain period timeline, does this become a problem because you're you know, under pressure to create something within No, space. I like pressure. Okay. But that's not definitely always a hit. So I work with my son on this. He does the arrangement. And by the way, he is the voice. Oh, Hi, Matsi. That's great, yes. <laughs> and uh, he does all the arrangements. And we compose in a team. And uh, oh, we can be fast. But it's not always a hit. Anyway, thank you so much, Christian. Thank you. So if we have no further questions, I'm going to request you to sign our AMS 2019 oh, yeah. poster over there. Oh, yeah.
fantastic. Thank, Thank you. you so much. I now request Mr. Harry Ayer, Senior Consultant for the Media Group, to present a momentum to Christian Schneider. Where are you? Hey, what? <laughs> <laughs> This is for you. Oh! This is for you. So this is a Tata Kali figurine. Thank you. Made by local craftsmen. Great, thank you. And in support of local handicrafts. Thank you, man. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. You have to learn that now. Oh.